You're listening to The Taylor Marshall Show, episode 114, Your Feelings and Your Focus. This is a short mini podcast. I haven't been doing too many podcasts lately just because it's been so busy, but I wanted to do a short one, and that is on your feelings and on your focus. What we focus on is how we feel. If you focus on negatives in your life, you're going to have negative feelings. If you focus on positives, you're going to have positive feelings. And we learn this principle in the New Testament. I guess it's in the Old Testament as well, especially in the Psalms. And that is the attitude of gratitude, the need for thanksgiving. The highest sacrifice in the Old Testament was the todah, the thanksgiving. When you engage in gratitude, when you engage in thanksgiving, you're forced to focus on the good. We thank God for the good in our life. And when we're in an attitude of gratitude, we're looking towards God and we're saying, thank you, bless you, God, for giving me this. It could be a thing, it could be a person, it could be an experience. And whatever we focus on is how we're going to feel. So if you feel depressed, if you feel lousy, if you feel discouraged, you're probably focusing on the negative, which is exactly what the devil and the demons want you to do. Just for example, focus your mind on a bloody car accident. How does that make you feel? Bad. You know, focus on the death of someone really close to you whose presence in your life you really miss. It brings about negative feelings. But look, you know, what if you focus on something positive? Focus on on your wedding day. Whenever I focus on my wedding day, I always have good feelings. I almost can't help but smiling. I remember Joy walking down the aisle. I remember how happy I was, how grateful I was. It brings about good feelings. Or the birth of your first child it makes me feel good. It brings me back to a place of gratitude and of happiness. And so I would challenge you, in just this short, this short podcast, to make a resolution today and for the next seven days this week to focus on the positive. And the best way to do that is to be grateful. I have a list on my phone every morning, either before or after mass. I get out that list and I pray through it. And it's a list of things I'm grateful for. And some of the stuff, if I shared it with you, you would laugh out loud. Like, I can't believe you thank God for that. But there are things that are important to me and things that I truly am grateful for. And I think we should be grateful for the small things and for the big things. I'm going to give you just a few examples of things to focus on in your life that are positive, that will help you change your attitude, help to change the way that you feel, especially in relationship to God, which is how we should always see ourselves. We should always perceive ourselves in light of who God is and what he's done for us. So for example, focus on Jesus loving you. Focus your mind on him on the cross, looking at you with love, not with judgment, with love. Focus on your heavenly father with a smile on his face and his arms open. Just as the father ran out to get the prodigal son, God the father is running out with open arms, with joy on his face, wanting to receive you in his embrace. Focus on that. One of the ones that I like to focus on is the Holy Spirit fluttering around you. You know, almost, you know, yesterday, no, actually this morning, I was drinking my green tea before going to work and watching a hummingbird move through the flowers in my backyard. Think of the Holy Spirit like that, just fluttering and moving around you and filling you with love and joy. Or you can think about the fire of God's love burning inside of your chest. You can make a mental image. Think of your heart. You can think of flames all around it, the warmth, the joy, the pleasant feeling of God in your life. So when you focus on these images or you focus on past events and you say they are good, thank you, God, you bring about a change in your lives. And we're called by sacred scripture we're called by the Old Testament to rejoice. We're called by Christ to rejoice. St. Paul calls us to rejoice. The book of Revelation calls us to rejoice. Even the current Holy Father, the Pope, 
calls us to be joyful Christians, Christians with an attitude of gratitude. And if we're always focusing on the negative, we're always on Drudge Report, we're always listening to the news, we're always listening about these cops that got shot or this protest or this scandal, guess what? That negative focus will lead to a negative feeling. You'll think, where'd my energy go? Why am I discouraged? Why am I thinking about ugly things, nasty things, perverted things? Well, your focus is on the negative and the devil rejoices. So focus on the positive. In particular, maybe use some of those images that I gave you. The Heavenly Father with his open arms, Christ on the cross loving you, the Holy Spirit fluttering around you. I also like to think of the Blessed Mother, uh, the Virgin Mary, bringing her mantle, her cape, her dress around me and feeling the embrace of her protection around me. All of those things, and I'm just talking about it, I'm smiling because it brings a positive, joyful attitude in my life, and I'm not making it up. It's true that the Holy, the Heavenly Father wants to hold you in His arms. It's true that Jesus loves you on the cross. It's true that the Holy Spirit is surrounding you. It's true that the Blessed Mother wants to protect you. So focus on those things. Until next time, be salty.